Hello, everybody. Not too much interest in the ACL, but we will continue anyway. So let us begin. Uh, this session was originally called Cutting Corners for a Wheel from a Wheel uh, Molajo ACL. But since I uh, signed up for this session, the things changed a little bit, expanded actually, and I will explain why and how. Uh, and that's why it's now called For Quito ACL, and I will also explain why, where the name cam comes from. So, final goal for this thing is to create easy to use and understand ACL system, and of course, uh, or not for of course because it's something not very often done a library that can be reused by uh, any of the most widespread Joomla based projects that's one of, the, of them is Nuku and another one is Molajo and original Joomla so three three versions will exist so we now have existing Joomla fork flavor that's where the name comes from, yes, I fork Joomla, <laughs> and uh, I will explain how, why, and how. Then it's Molajo flavor and Nuku flavor, so Joomla fork flavor, the first one, yeah, I did say that. Uh, it's the starting point for the whole project and is used actually as a proof of concept, it's not gonna be released as a oral any community built around it or something like that is just the code uh, and it's factually a fork because I needed to change like 70 files to make it work so I cannot call it uh, anything else than a fork because the actual files are changed uh, if this would exist on the SVN of Joomla.org uh, then it would be called a uh, branch so it's just a matter of words <laughs> Uh, it contains 70 plus files due to poor Joomla ACL implementation in the application layer because Joomla ACL is hard coded everywhere, not just in the controllers, even in the views and so on and so on, in library everywhere. You have the low level, low level uh, ACL calls, so you can not replace that ACL with something else, you need to cut out the code and replace it with something else. You don't, you, you don't have a higher level abstracted uh, ACL calls uh, that could be plugged in. Uh, what's covered in the existing thing uh, I've made, it's a uh, new for Quito ACL library. This, uh, uh, this is completely new classes. And then Joomla library methods are are made as a proxies to those uh, methods, and uh, they, uh, it includes few uh, few internal methods that take care of the compatibility uh, between view access levels and uh, this system. Uh, already done parts, or this is pretty much it because I'm not probably continuing with this one, but the, all the work goes on the Molage one, and when then this one is finished, uh, it will continue with the Nuku one, which I expect will be, will be very easy, because the Molage one will be a really abstracted one, so I hope it will uh, work with Nuku very fast. Uh, covered parts for the fork. Uh, application framework layer that is Categories, menus, modules, plugins, all this work with this new ACL. Uh, uh, and uh, m mostly these are changes to multiple items queries because it's also, the ACL is also hard coded in those queries, so you must just change the query to get the right one. You cannot replace the function calling. Uh, uh, what is done as a proof of concept is also backend components, com categories, com men menus, modules, and plugins. Uh, content components is just the com content. I didn't uh, bother to change web links and the rest of this that stuff. Uh, and all re only this part, the backend. Uh, application uh, it contains changes to 37 PHP and 15 XML files, so you get a picture of the extent of the work needed to make Joomla work uh, with another ACL. Uh, 
I, I, because the approach I took is to re, uh, change the basics, not like Emmanuel is doing with, with the plugins and his own system uh, working uh, a bit around the, that. Uh, I wanted to go to the core and change it at the core where it, where it exists. Uh, more, most extensive changes were done to the com users and com content. Okay, this is the, where the existing code is. If anybody is interested, you can uh, pull it from the Git and, uh, and test it. Uh, it's going to change a lot in the future because of the new rounds of simplification and abstraction, but it currently uh, should work as it is. Uh, I will publish this. Uh, slides uh, on the slide share uh, so you can copy it from there or, or later we can I can show it again uh, now we proceed to Malaju flavor which is the main development tree or uh, so to call uh, these are complete new classes uh, and where the most development goes at the moment and it is the most important part of the, this project. So actually, this is Molajo ACL, but it's uh, Molajo ACL plus the rest of the stuff. Um, uh, for any of you that weren't at the session, uh, the first session with, with Molajo we, we had, uh, we are actually redoing the whole web application layer built upon a, a freshly released Joomla uh, library. Uh, so uh, all components, com, content, uh, com users, uh, blah, 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 will be redone. And this system includes pluggable ACL compatibilities. So one of these plugins that will be available will be this for Keto ACL. Another one, will, uh, it will come back with the Joomla one. And it, it will enable any ACL uh, uh, to work with the system because it will have uh, like uh, calls like this: Is user allowed to do something? And then, uh, then or the ACL will just provide answer to that question uh, with his internal system, or whatever that system is. Uh, this one will will include just few library overrides. So basic classes like J user or J categories because the, the, the ACL is also hard coded in those, uh, and uh, you, but it will it will be done with overrides, so it's not a fork because it's overloading the, the uh, preloading the classes, and yes, uh, even J user can be uh, overridden in the 1.6 uh, with it using the define trick uh, that is one file that is loaded before the whole framework is loaded and if you load the class from there you can preload it and the system will use the uh, JUser class you provided not the one that's in the system uh, I can show the code uh, later if anyone wants uh, and then the Nuku flavor will come after Molaju flavor is it's uh, I explained this uh, a bit earlier. Uh, we, it will uh, for Kito, will present an add-on library here. Uh, now, I explained the structure of the project. Now, pr let's proceed to the what has been changed uh, versus Joomla ACL. Uh, it's not completely new ACL. It's basically, like uh, the titles of the session said, it's rounding the corners from the wheel cutting off, making wheel around again. So it's uh, like improvement of the Joomla ACL uh, with few things that were obviously wrong uh, changed. So and that's uh, what I'm going to explain now. Uh, first thing I changed is remove, I removed view access levels and I added view to actions. Uh, that is something I don't get why it was done at the first place, but after, after some thinking, I, I might be on the track why, and I will show you why uh, later. Uh, because view is just another action, so there is no reason whatsoever uh, that the view would have a separate ACL system, because Joomla now doesn't have one ACL system, it has two ACL systems, one for the view access and another completely different classes, uh, uh, I mean the, the different functions, there exist in the, the same classes, but the diff different functions uh, are used for the view and the, or for the, all the rest, edit, uh, manage, etc., etc. 
Uh, and what it means for the end user, it means that it, he, he only has to go to one interface, configure permissions at one interface, and uh, it, it basically is 50% less complicated because it has 50. It, 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 he only has to have, uh, for instance, groups configured. He doesn't need to go and configure groups of groups what uh, view access levels really are. Uh, Second thing is radically improved and simplified user interface. And here I probably need to show an example. Or perhaps uh, it's simple, made as a simple matrix of groups and actions. And uh, one of the goals was to create one click permission changes so you don't have to go to drop downs, change, uh, and then reload to see the act, it in action. Uh, instantly visible changes and uh, in inherited values. So if I now show you the comparison between Joomla, that's the Joomla widget for the actions, I disregard the, the one this here for the, you have also this access level here, and but this is the one I'm talking about, this the actions. You can see you have this, you have value, value here, and now to change this, you go to here, save, reload, and then you only after that you see what you have done. And also these tabs are horrible. Uh, now, if we can go and look at what we have done, because this this is not this was not done only by me. It was I see that, saw that Hannes joined us. Uh, he did the first initial JavaScript for this. A little bit changed it and improved, and it uses. <laughs> Emmanuel's icons. <laughs> I thank him for that. Uh, and what happens is you have like this matrix of actions and uh, actions and groups, and you simply see this. This is all gray because the, all these values are inherited from the higher level. And it, when, if you want to override the values that are inherited, you just click. Yeah, see, now it's allowed. It was also allowed before because the value was inherited, but you can also deny it. And the rest, you see down there, the rest of the inherited values change automatically, except super users and admins, which are in the admin group and cannot be, uh, their, they, they, uh, their permission cannot be taken away. The, the JavaScript knows this and uh, prevents it to be changed. You can, you can click on it, but you cannot change it. But this one you can change, see. Uh, you know, I, I think that it, this represents really radical change versus the Joomla default widget. And it's a much, much more comprehensible for the user, at least at what we have tested. Uh, anybody, uh, uh, most of the responses were, OK, now I get it. <laughs> uh, Uh, there is also simplified operational logic. Uh, uh, Joomla has all this. Uh, it, it follows one logic, and then what, at, at one point you have like the locked permissions. You cannot change something that was denied on the higher level, on the lower level, uh, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm just going to explain how it works here. Uh, uh, there are three rules. Lower level always wins. So. Whatever you have set on global, you can overwrite in component, or you can overwrite in category, or you can overwrite in item. So uh, it's flexible. It has no locked values. Whatever is set on the, the lowest level that is set is actually used at the end, uh, except there is also another pre inheritance. There is group inheritance. Uh, there is an another rule, assigned permission bits inherited. So. Uh, Users are auto assigned to, to parent groups, but uh, so anything that is set in those groups is also inherited by the, the children group, but uh, only if it's not set explicitly in that group you are assigned to. So uh, always the, the assigned permission beats the inherited one. Uh, and the third rule, if one group gives you access, you're in, uh, so we are using key analogy here. If you have one key, that opens the door, it doesn't matter, you have 10, another, 
10 others that don't open that door because they are for another door, but if you're, you have one key, you can open the door and you are in, and uh, that's how the permission merging works uh, here that allow actually, explicit allow is the absolute winner, then you have another rules how, what happens with the, when you have, uh, uh, ex uh, for the second level is when the, you have explicit deny versus uh, versus uh, inherited allow etc etc. I will at some point I will draw a matrix with all these combinations so it will be easier to understand. Um, now uh, s uh, next change is more of not with so much visible to the end user. That is the the classes of uh, code was actually. Uh, Dried and React architectured. I, when I d was working on this, I found, for instance, there were 17 get user groups queries or or even functions. Uh, even com users has two or three same queries doing the same thing, just manipulating values uh, afterwards in the different way, uh, and then they are not using the same. I, I just created one get user groups function and all classes call that one uh, with different parameters and get the results uh, uh, and when you, uh, when I, so when you find the bug you go to one function cho change it there you don't need to go to 10 or 15 places and change the all 15 uh, functions and, or queries uh, this is the root of the view levels in my opinion uh, I'm not sure because nobody told me that, but that's what I suspect because uh, JSON encoded rules uh, because Joomla stores all the rules. It packs them in the, in the one big uh, JSON encoded uh, object. Uh, string and it stores that string in database. That's horrible. The, I don't know whoever thought of that uh, should be punished bit, 100 bits with a stick. I hope it wasn't you, Hannes. <laughs> a little bit of joking, but uh, it really is horrible because um, it totally dis disables any database relations, uh, conditional searches, and it has enormous impact on the performance. Uh, you cannot do joins on the uh, strings, uh, on, on the JSON encoded strings. You cannot do uh, selective uh, searches, etc., etc. It, basically, it's not you. It's not meant to be uh, to be queried, uh, except that you pull out that one value, uh, but you cannot do all the stuff with uh, uh, that uh, relational databases like MySQL are made for. So it's contra every basic principle that exists in programming and MySQL. Uh, that's an example. To retrieve a list of items, you, uh, user ha if user has a permission to view or edit or whatever, you need to first query for all items, unpack the JSON string in each of them, uh, and then check permissions for each item separately. Uh, now imagine what happens if you have 10,000 or million items to check, how, how long it would take or how many memory it would, how, how many resources we go for, to, to, for that. Uh, whoever thought of that has never seen uh, for, uh, probably a, a website that has million items and such websites exist. For instance, Fortis runs a few of them uh, in the grids. So I, had, I hope you get the picture what happens. Uh, and that, that's how I think it goes. Because having a JSON database is, creates a, a JSON in a database creates a performance problem, then you need another system to manage thousands of users to, to view pay, that view your pages. Uh, and you solve that, uh, that problem by inventing another uh, ACL system in parallel. Uh, I think that's what happened, but of course I cannot be sure because I wasn't there. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> Good to have a uh, ex <laughs> member of with the information in the room. 
another change, there are always present basic system groups. Why? Uh, uh, these are groups that, uh, that cannot, cannot be removed or their role cannot be changed. Uh, while this might seem a step backwards because it's not configurable, uh, it, these groups are really like cornerstones for the whole system. And if the, those cornerstones are missing, you need to invent another smart idea like uh, root configuration hack that exists in Joomla 1.6. So when you look out yourself outside, uh, uh, if you incidentally delete or change permission to the root, uh, you that 42 or what is called uh, uh, it's his ID uh, that configuration can't won't be needed anymore because uh, there is uh, sufficient checks implemented and uh, there is um, um, I'm sorry I will explain this in the next slide uh, so having these system groups gives you better reliability better performance and better security because you have some corner stores you can always rely on uh, it, it for the performance you don't need for instance, uh, if a user is a member of an admin group, you just check that and okay, he's allowed to do everything. And uh, then you, you, it, it instantly cuts off few queries that are needed to calculate his permissions. Uh, the same thing is for, for the rest of those hard-coded groups, hard-coded that are defined in the code. Uh, so what these groups are, first one is everyone. It's uh, a little bit different. Uh, these groups are a little bit different but, uh, from the concept of what Joomla has. Is this, Joomla has public group, but this one is split in more uh, steps because everyone includes not authenticated and authenticated. So basically, the public group would be not authenticated in this uh, case. Uh, authenticated are uh, users that are logged in, and the, the, the fourth one is admins, which is... Uh, uh, actually replacing the core admin permission. There is no need for that permission anymore. If you have a fixed group, you just assign that group to a user and he's a core admin. You don't need to give him an additional permissions. Uh, that's a, a bit equivalent to a Unix wheel group. That's a, a group for the roots in the Unix system. Um, <laughs> that's about the functional aspect, aspect of the ACL. Now the API for the third party developers, how you would implement it. Uh, the API goal is like the rest of the thing, create minimal number of humanly understandable and self-explaining self classes and method names. Uh, uh, because net method names in Joomla, if everyone, every, uh, any of you has a uh, I would try to look at those classes. They are really cryptic. You need to really know what some function is doing because the names are, there's no, or at least uh, I couldn't find any really usable uh, classification system uh, how they named the, I think they just named them uh, randomly. I don't know, whatever, who thought, yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, so uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's very hard to guess what a certain function is doing. Uh, uh, so I, I try to, to make the code uh, self-explaining because the, the call, you, a function that is called is user authorized to. I think that it it's, tells by itself what it does. So that's basically basically one and single one and single function you will need to use to check the permission uh, for the uh, for the user. There is also another shortcut that because that's uh, often used in the front end. It's user authorized to view, so don't, you don't need to type in the view permission, uh, uh, but it's it's just proxies to that one. Uh, I'll, uh, I will show the code later. Uh, and uh, the second one, this is for the single item permissions. So single item, single module, single uh, single uh, articles, whatever is a single item, and another one that's uh, that was a little bit more tricky. Uh, this one is for the multiple items. Uh, 
so when you have a query that you have to need to, to uh, that will give you back a list of items and you you want that query is uh, filtered already when the results come back uh, you just need to use this insert filter query uh, function and it it uh, takes care that inserts uh, appropriate joins in the data in the queries and the, the results come back uh, already filtered so that's an example from the J plugin helper that loads the plugins so that uh, you only get the plugins you are allowed to uh, interact with or that are for instance I don't know you can disable um, uh, you can disable uh, what's that uh, article 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 uh, the, the plugin that creates uh, pages from the longer articles. Uh, you can disable that. Uh, that's, I, I made this just a, as a proof of concept. Uh, so that is Joomla way. How is Joomla is done in Joomla? So first you get levels, and then you where access is in this level. So you, you compare uh, levels and uh, uh, users levels. Uh, in this one, you just use j import Molage access as x, and you do this uh, database query uh, this is the asset uh, this is the the field you're joining everything in normally it's an asset id field but th because this uh, this part changes that's why it needs to be f uh, as a parameter and th the last one is the permission you are querying for uh, in this case it's the core view permission for the front end view access uh, and the same function uh, is used in categories helper, modules helper, con contents, article module, anywhere where the list of items needs to be filtered. The same function just inserts the the, the query, and that's it. Uh, Sorry. Um, why are you adding in the, the object? Uh, that's not that that can that will be corrected. That's not needed. Yeah, true. <laughs> that that was an oversight and. Uh, I didn't have to change the the, the time to change it. Uh, and the third one you will need is the user interface uh, function. That's basically uh, either uh, ACL widget that renders a, a, an HTML, uh, but that's not enough because you need uh, JFORM to, to to actually do something with it. So there is also uh, JFORM field, MFORM field, ACL widget. Uh, uh, it's just you just include it in layout, and you have also the date. It also creates everything that other JFORM fields do. So to implement it in, for instance, in modules, what it was needed to put it in the layout, and also to to change the database uh, uh, table be behind it. I mean the J database uh, modules, whatever it is called, uh, the 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 table in the. Uh, That one, so uh, because it needs an asset ID. Uh, modules before didn't have this asset ID field that's needed uh, for the joins uh, f f with the asset table. Uh, oh, what about the future? Uh, short term is this. <laughs> I'm sure there are a zillion bugs in this code, so uh, code testing, testing, bug fixing, and testing, that's the rule for the next <laughs> at least month. Uh, one other user interface improvement I'm aware of that needs to be done is this a kind of breadcrumbs. So at when you get to the item level, you just see which levels inherit uh, for, for the coder or for the uh, web developer it's clear but for an end user it's not so clear uh, every uh, any time so uh, th so the, the user will we just see global it, like the same as the when what you get in in the front end when you see the uh, the the breadcrumbs uh, just but but just for the levels of the inheritance that we had listed here Okay, I missed it. Oh, this. 
So for instance, in, if you are in the category, we will see these this two. Uh, so we will know what is inherited from, because now it's not clear what is, in, is it inheriting from. And in case of multiple categories, it, it's even more usable because you don't exactly know where any, uh, any time which, in which category you, it, is it set. Uh, so it, it just needs a visual representation of uh, the inheritance. Uh, where? Short term and long term future, uh, more rounds of simplification. What uh, what we talked about is to create like either another version of this, or in better case, a uh, simple mode that would have flattened inheritance. So for the simple uh, cases where you don't need all this kind, all this inheritance, it would just have one default value uh, for the, for instance, for the content items, and then you could change it either on a category level or on the item level. We, that's up to discussion, but uh, I think the category will, would suffice uh, for the simple cases, uh, and uh, the, the rest of items we would just inherit the default value, and that would be it. You would need, don't need five levels of inheritance normally. Um, now I can also show you a few examples I have here. Uh, sorry. But be patient because this computer works a little bit slow. Um, it's netbook. So, for instance, uh, I just want to show that it works <laughs> uh, already. For instance, here you ha we have post number nine. Uh, nine. It's uh, multiple items query on the front end. Uh, that that's from the com content get items uh, is the model uh, from the it items model. Uh, so we we go for, for post nine. I just have to check if I'm still logged in. Looks like yes. By the way, what are you seeing? Uh, this is the minima template also included in Molajo and it was re also released in the, as the standalone, but standalone doesn't have the compatibility with this uh, ACL uh, from the out of the boxes in the Molajo version. Uh, at the moment. Uh, so we have these inherited values uh, and we, we can, for instance, just to, to show you that it works, deny it, uh, save it. Uh, it's why it's not done as the Ajax calls because it would be too dangerous if uh, somebody would click f uh, uh, wrong uh, thing and uh, it's better to, to, to first see what you have done and then you would have you have another check because you have to save it. Uh, that's why it's not instant changes. Uh, it's just the visual representation, and after you are, you are satisfied with what you have, what you have done, you, you can you just save it then uh, uh, as another precaution. So you don't, for instance, it's not so important in the items or so, or, but when you are on the global uh, global permissions, uh, it can hap it could happen even if there are logical checks to prevent it, but. Still, it could happen. You would so deny something you shouldn't, and uh, change the I, I don't know. Put the whole the whole site uh, uh, to be all all items on the site to be denied for the view, so it wouldn't work, and you would have to go back and change it. Uh, uh, but when if you 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 have this before you save, you you can see that you denied it, and it just another step you have to make before you change it. Uh, so, actually, I, I don't know if I saved it. Okay, I saved it. Now, you have here, that's the, from before when it was allowed. Now, we, if we lo reload it, it is going to be gone. See, no more uh, guest nine. Uh, also, if you go for, this is for the multiple items, for instance, this is about article. Uh, this is the about article. This is single item check. So we have to, uh, I mean, I'm not the run, the right run. Close.
about is the first. Okay, deny it. Save. Where it out. And you're not authorized, that's what happens. Uh, another improvement will be, so it will be, uh, it's an optional, whether it's needed or not, perhaps it would be better if it would redirect to the front page or something like that, but um, I don't know if it's that is necessary. Uh, for the modules, here we have the, here we have the bread, breadcrumbs module, and, uh, now oh, here, here we are. So in the modules, interface is a little, a little different because there is only view permission. So it's integrated in the rest of the tabs on the right side in the minima, uh, and also in the, in the default, uh, what is it called, uh, blue stork. Uh, here we have just the view permissions from the front end. Uh, later, uh, one could implement also m m edit permissions on something like that, but at the moment, only view permissions are implemented because uh, it needs to be checked on the fr front end whether a user has uh, access to a certain mod module. Anyway, if we deny it, save. <laughs> This one should disappear. Oh, see, no more breadcrumbs. And th that's how it works the same for the categories uh, uh, or the plugins. Uh, uh, there were some questions about performance because it adds few additional joints, it adds about 10% uh, to the, to the uh, overhead to the query. Uh, so, that's the difference you got from this. It's not a, a good thing, but the end goal is that with additional optimizations in other fields, we will get the same performance as Joomla, Joomla has uh, on the front end. Uh, for instance, one thing that will surely go, go out is the contact join uh, because it's not needed uh, and it's just wasting time there in the front end. Uh, uh, where it gets complicated is, is on the multiple items queries. I mean, that here is where it, it, it can go slow. It can go, get slow uh, in uh, one single item. It, it's instant, but when you have million items to check, uh, it gets a little bit slower. Uh, any query gets slower with the, the size of the size of the database, so uh, that's where it needs to be really optimized so it performs well in any conditions. Uh, now, I think I've, uh, that's about it. So, if you have any questions, please ask. <laughs> For Molajo itself, not because it will be optional. In the Molajo abstraction layer, it, uh, you can, the component will automatically uh, can choose which the ACL to use. So if it's made for the Joomla ACL, it will use Joomla ACL, uh, not the, the Molajo one. Uh, so it will be like per component or per extend no per extension not because modules and uh, uh, plugins are not cannot be done per per extension because the the system checks which uh, which items to show so modules are pre-filtered on the system levels that's why uh, oh one thing i can show and that's already working at least it was before i checked <laughs> uh, is this uh, I just need to close it. Uh, I already already have some like prototype of the uh, the switching of the ACL inside. 
but that's done in old Joomla, so that, that part is still hacked or forked. See, like this, and the, in the system level, you have just the drop down, you choose which one to use, and uh, to see it's really working, for, for instance, here, we don't have view access levels, or in com if we go to permissions tab, we have the new widget. Here we go to here again. Joomla. See if I can close. We need to log out because the, because of the J user uh, object that's in the stored in the session. Uh, we need it stores different thing for each ACL, so you need to log out. Uh, Login again. And now, you see we have the new access levels and uh, here we have the Joomla uh, or the minima version of the Joomla widget. Uh, it looks a little bit different than in default uh, template. <laughs> Another question? Uh, Just a question. Uh, we see that in Bolajo you, you can select which uh, AC of system you want to yeah. use. Would it be possible to include uh, for Keto ACL inside Joomla 1.6 through a system plugin? I don't think so because you will need to overwrite like 70 files. Uh, 70, not 17. <laughs> That's a huge number of overrides just for the core core uh, system and uh, for the web application layer, menus, con con categories. Uh, 